Hey everyone. Happy Sunday. I know I don't get to wish you a happy Sunday very often. So, happy Sunday. Uh, first things first, let me uh, sync up the chat. I keep forgetting to do this. S-Y-N-C. Bam. Okay. Uh, so, Exergia, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't mean to seem ungrateful for the cool script you made me. Um, <clears throat> I just have a very, uh, very bad memory for that kind of thing. Okay, uh, so second thing second, uh, I want to let everyone know that I created a Steam group uh, on Tazarin's recommendation. So if you want to join, it's steamcommunity.com slash group slash the bump. Or you can just go to dukeofthebump.com and click on a Steam group to join. Um, it's cool because I'm going to make stream announcements and stuff there, so you get a cool little pop-up whenever uh, a new announcement happens or when the stream is about to start. I'm not sure if you saw, but I got the pop-up there in Steam a little bit ago. Uh, hello to... Uh, Bippo Ernesti, Straight Line, Pinfeldorf, Kostya, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Uh, the music is an album of Earthbound covers, uh, so if you like what you hear, go to the URL in the stream, and you can uh, pick it up for free. Alright, so uh, let's get this stuff started. Um, I'm going to uh, start the bedding and... Like last time, I'm going to lot the bet as soon as uh, I get to the end of the mines. So you have, uh, or, you know, as soon as I die, if I die before that. If it wasn't for a Steam Group pop up, I would have forgotten. See? Kostya is getting some, uh, some use out of the Steam Group already. So uh, I'm starting the stream earlier so I can uh, practice for a couple hours and then do the daily challenge as soon as, as, soon as it starts. So if any of you are interested in doing the daily challenge alongside me, you know, you can uh, you can do that as soon as that begins. Because the clock rolls over at 7pm my time or midnight UTC. Oh hey Mors, what's up? So uh, I will continue my, my quest to get to hell. Um, I've gotten to hell three times on my own time. Uh, and I made it to King Yama once, but I died because I got there with one health. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of still my goal. Um, I do want to get as many achievements as I can eventually. Pretty sure all the Steam achievements are going to be doable for me, except maybe the co-op achievement, because, uh, it's local multiplayer only, and I don't know anyone in real life who would want to uh, who would want to go through that. But all the other ones I should be able to uh, to get eventually. The hardest ones are probably going to be the speedrunning one, which uh, you have to beat the whole game. Not hell, just uh, just up to Olmec in eight minutes or less. Um, I do think it'll be doable because I've gotten pretty good at just at that part of the game. Um, it's not impossible. And then the playthrough where you collect no gold, that achievement should be pretty tough as well. Hell, I mean, I know it's just a matter of time until, uh, until I overcome that particular hurdle. Get more to play co-op. Well, uh, I mean, he, he's welcome to come over and try. Uh, I don't think, uh, I don't know, I don't think he enjoys the game as much as I do, so that might not be, uh, that might not be fun for him. And of course, as usual, everyone let me know if the, uh, audio levels are, are bad or if the music is overwhelming or anything like that. I had my uh, best daily the other day as well, 
I, uh, I got an Olmec kill out of it, and I got about 450,000 by the end of the daily. Um, not enough to make it into the top 100, but pretty close. I was really peeved that I didn't get that, uh, that 500,000 gold achievement. I would've, except that I died with the Ankh before I made it to the Moai head, so, uh, so I lost out on the chance to go to the City of Gold. But for not going to the City of Gold, I feel like it was a, uh, I feel like it was a pretty good run. Ah, cr oh shit. Man, fucking dark levels. Nothing screws up a good run faster than getting a dark level. I heard someone mention the other day, because I've been watching slash listening to uh, Sp Spelunky streams. Oh crap, I forgot to do the uh, <laughs> lock bets. Okay. You might have uh, had an opportunity to sneak a bet in there. Uh, Kostya and Straight Line both bet for spikes, which are uh, which are a pretty good bet. All right, <clears throat> let's uh, start another round here. My friend did the local co-op achievement alone. Jesus, that sounds. Extremely unfun. Trying to control both players at the same time and keep them both alive. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't control them simultaneously. You would like trade off. You would have two controllers hooked up and just switch between the two. I guess. So I was talking with uh, Pinfeldorf earlier on Steam, he asked me if uh, I ever thought I would start ghost mining to uh, to increase my my scores in the daily challenge and all that. And uh, if you don't know, ghost mining is when you... Okay, when the ghost passes over a gem, it uh, turns it into a diamond, and each diamond is worth 5,000 gold apiece. And that's how they really, you know, pro players get just obscene amounts of money uh, in the daily challenge or in high score runs. And uh, my general attitude about that is that I play video games to have fun. And uh, there's nothing fun for me about uh, spending, you know, four hours slowly, methodically going around a level to try to maximize your gold. Um, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no enjoyment I would get out of doing that. So I'm probably never going to be truly competitive with all the, you know, all the big names in the Spelunky streaming scene, but that's okay. I figure I'll just play until I get as many achievements as I possibly can, and then I'll be done with it at that point. Which, you know, it'll be okay because by then, uh, Binding of Isaac Rebirth will probably be out. So that'll be uh, a new thing for me to obsess over. An another thing I'll never do in Spelunky is anything that requires me to restart the game over and over and over again. Until I get a perfect seed. Like, uh... Another dark level, really? Like, uh... If you watch... Bananasaurus Rex's uh, solo eggplant run. Well... In the YouTube video... Uh, it just starts as soon as he gets a good eggplant seed. Because he, he edited it and he cut it off there. But I mean, getting that seed requires... You know, a huge amount... Of just restarting the game over and over again until you get an ideal seed and then uh, you know if you do I mean that was you know that was one attempt of, of several I don't know how many times it took him to actually do that 
but uh yeah just that stuff is way too tedious way too time consuming I don't have uh I don't have that kind of drive for any video game which you know I mean more power to them if if they're okay doing that kind of thing but uh you know it's not for me I mean when they get a good run when when they get a good you know high score run or a good uh, speed run seed or whatever you know it's entertaining to watch but getting to that point it's uh yeah that's uh, not how I want to play video games I'm just getting out of here hopefully the uh, hopefully the eye isn't on this level because I'm not going to go around exploring and risk dying to unseen spikes again I like farming and games I also like grinding I do with certain types of games like okay if if the if the action itself is fun I'm okay with with uh, farming and grinding like in an RPG with you know good combat where I enjoy the fights in and of themselves I'm okay with doing that because you know it's just it's repetitive it's repetitively doing something that I'd have fun doing anyway but in a game like Spelunky I mean if you are ghost mining or trying to get a good seed there's nothing inherently fun about that at least to me I miss RPGs like that says Morris I'm uh, I'm kind of interested in uh, in that RPG that's coming out for the 3DS pretty soon, Bravely Default. It uh, seems a lot like one of the old Final Fantasy games. Um, I got the demo, which I heard was pretty good, but I didn't get a chance to do much in it yet. But that looks like uh, looks like a very kind of traditional old school RPG with you know, modern, uh, modern sensibilities. I saw a video of, uh, some of the voice acting once, so, and it was pretty terrible. Well, what little bit of, I played of the demo, I played with the sound down because I was in the movie theater waiting for the previews to start. But yeah, the voice acting just sounds god-awful. I hope there's a way to, uh, turn that off or switch it to Japanese or something but from what I saw the mechanics looked like they're going to be interesting I don't know it's hard to tell until you actually get a chance to put a good chunk of time into it oh, hey Bippo says uh, the humble bundle weekly god damn it fucking dark levels I swear to god they seem to come in in, in clusters like I'll have a day with almost no dark levels and I'll have a day where I just get dark levels all the time and apparently today is one of those days but no I, I haven't checked out the uh, the humble roguelike bundle I'll have to uh, I'll have to give that a look I mean it sounds like it's one of the uh, the weekly sales not the actual uh, humble bundle Oh fuck! I did not even see those spikes. What am I doing? Okay, uh, congratulations, Kostya, Moores, and Galen, for uh, for your wise bets. Oh, I forgot to lock the bets at the end of the mines too. Oh well. Duke, I wanted to ask you about Path of Exile. Would you recommend? What are the good, bad things about it? Um. I've played a bunch of Path of Exile, and I've enjoyed it. I mean, it's basically Diablo 2 with some uh, interesting character development mechanics. Um, basically, it's uh, it's Diablo 2, but add in the Sphere Grid from Final Fantasy X and the Materia system from Final Fantasy VII, and that's basically what the... Uh, what the character development is. You're, uh, great. 
your passive skills are determined by this huge sprawling grid of like I think it's 1500 skills and uh, the only difference between the classes is where they start on the grid uh, it's, it's very similar to the Final Fantasy X Sphere grid not sure if uh, if you're familiar with that but uh, so theoretically you could start as like a necromancer or something and as you build your character you can decide to spec it out like uh, if you want barbarian skills you know you can go over to the barbarian section of the grid and you know it would take you longer to get there but uh, I mean theoretically you could do that and then your active skills the spells that you actually use in combat are determined by gems that you slot into your, your equipment and uh, there are different colored slots that correspond to different types of skills um, like for example you can have a red slot with a uh, mm -mm. you can have a red slot that uh, that has like a fireball spell and then you can have a support slot which I think is either blue or green that uh, that would split the fireball into like into two projectiles that do less damage but you know can attack more enemies at the same time stuff like that it's really it's really interesting and I had a lot of fun with it for the little bit of time I played um, the problems with it or the problem with it is that it's very difficult to respec your character if you decide you don't like the direction it's going um, you do get uh, points that let, let, let you respec uh, respec things on the sphere grid but they're very rare like I've been playing for like 12 hours or something and I think I only have like three of the respec points and all they do is let you unallocate one slot so out of like out of 1500 skills uh, they don't make it easy to uh, to change your character you're, you're pretty much stuck with what you uh, what you decide you want to go with overall is the game good yeah it's very good um, it's probably the best uh, Diablo style game I've ever played but I mean I haven't played that many I played Diablo 2 and I played Torchlight and Torchlight 2 and uh, Path of Exile was probably the best out of any of them but um, it is very very hardcore in the uh, in how little it allows you to respect your character it's free too which is uh, which is a bonus I really like how they do the free to play in that game because the microtransactions are all just cosmetic things there's no uh, no quote unquote pay to win mechanics or anything like that. Very very smart design. I, I hope it, I hope the game's doing okay for them. Rogue likes a weekly sale. It comes with Dungeons of Dread more complete, paranautical activity, hack slash loot, binding of Isaac with DLC, teleglitch. Uh, Sword of the Stars, the Pit, with gun. Oh, Teleglitch has Guns and Tunes DLC, huh? Oh, six dollars for all of those games. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good deal. I mean, just Binding of Isaac alone, with the uh, DLC, would be worth paying six bucks for. I might, I might actually pick that up. There are a bunch of games in there that I haven't played. The uh, the actual humble bundle sale is a uh, is an audiobook sale, and I picked that one up as well because I do enjoy audiobooks. It's kind of a weird like selection of audiobooks. I'm not sure what made them go with the specific books they went with, but uh, yeah, I haven't started listening to any of them yet, but. I might as well pick up the web gun. Why the heck not? I'm not going to use it. All the other games come with their soundtracks except Binding of Isaac for some reason. Hmm. 
Oh, what? How did that arrow have enough momentum? Ugh. I swear the physics of this game really confuse me sometimes. Huh. I wasn't sure if webs could actually uh, set those powder kegs off or not. Uh oh. Yep. All right. Uh, congrats, Kostya, and just Kostya, who bet on the uh, the arrow trap. I'm having a really poor showing so far. Um, I mean, it is you know different playing a game while talking. It's different than. Uh, than just playing casually. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Oh, whew. that's already uh, already been triggered. Now, I was watching a guy the other day who would just fall in front of those arrow traps and just whip the arrows before they could hit them. Just whip the arrows out of the air. I'm like, holy shit, guy. Can't imagine the degree of timing it requires to actually do that. There are definitely some uh, some pro strategies I'm not comfortable with yet. Like, I'm okay killing the shopkeepers in the black market because it's really easy. Well, it's not really easy, but it's easier to set it up so you have a strategic advantage against them. But uh, I'm not okay just killing shopkeepers just without any items or anything. Like, if I have a shotgun, I should uh, I should be okay. A shotgun or a freeze ray. I can uh, take a shopkeeper out. But I, I can't just, like, whip the shopkeeper and steal the shotgun from him and, and take him out like that. Someday, but uh, but not yet. Actually, those true free-to-play games seem to be doing okay. At least Dota 2 seems to. Yeah, Dota 2 uh, definitely sounds... Uh, I mean, Dota 2 and uh, Team Fortress 2 both use kind of the Valve free-to-play model. Where you only pay for, uh, for like, cosmetic and... Uh, You know, visual items, not actual, nothing that actually changes the way the the game plays mechanically. But uh, both those games seem to be doing really well. I hope more games uh, start to go that route. Whipping arrows is easy, really. Says Pinful Dwarf. Well, uh, I've tried it before, and it was definitely not easy for me. But, uh, oh crap. But maybe I just have not, uh, I have not practiced it enough. You can't Chris knife arrows, says Pinful Dwarf. Died in the City of Gold that way once. I mean, I'm sure once you get the timing down for whipping arrows, it's not not as big of a deal. But uh, I was not able to get the timing down during my attempts. So the video with the uh, the DJ Roswell music seemed to be uh, fine on YouTube. It wasn't flagged or anything. And hopefully, uh, since this is just a uh, this is a free remix album, there shouldn't be any issues with it either. Still not quite ready to uh, to play Metallica during the stream or anything like that. That probably would not end as well for me. I mean, not that I would necessarily want to 
I mean, I do enjoy old Metallica stuff, but I'm not really sure if it would be well suited to this kind of stream. That is in nice. Nice key arrangement there. I was playing a game the other day where uh, the key was all the way up in the top right hand corner of the screen and it was encased in in rock and it was... Hmm. Interesting. Uh, did anyone bet on Powder Keg? Nope, doesn't look like it. I should have known that would happen. The way the powder kegs work is really weird. Like, they can be set off by, uh, by, like, blood flying from enemies, or, uh, or shards of pots, like what just happened, but you can throw, like, a mouse directly at one of the powder kegs and it won't blow up. I don't know, it's weird. You have to start whipping about a third of a second before the arrow would hit you. Huh. <clears throat> well, operating in thirds of seconds, I don't have uh, I don't have quite that level of of reflexes. Uh, yeah, it's bomb to get that crate. That'd be a worthwhile trade. And it seems like I've been getting a lot of ropes and crates lately. Like, I was playing earlier just to warm up. It seemed like every single crate I got. It's three ropes. Three ropes. Three ropes. I can imagine it shortly becomes muscle memory if you do it enough times. Well, yeah, it's... It's like anything else in this game, I guess. I just have to. I just haven't really actively worked at getting the timing down. And the music sounds a little too loud for the sound effects. Let me, uh. Turn that down just a touch. Need to turn the sound effects up a little bit. Oops. Of course, when I play by myself, I usually have the sound completely down because I'm, listen I'm listening to a podcast or a, uh, a Twitch stream or something. So I'm kind of used to not having the sound effects at all. I did turn the sound effects up all the way here, right? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh well. Hmm. So, uh, I saw her the other day. The new, uh... <laughs> the new, uh... Movie... With, uh, Walking Phoenix directed by Spike Jones. Really, really good. Highly recommend it to anyone... Who likes movies. Might be in my, uh... In my top ten. I don't know. I'd have to load up my Flickchart account and, uh... And see how it, see how it stacks up to whatever my top ten is at, at the moment. It reminds me a lot of uh, of the movie Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, which is another one of my favorite movies. Just a really uh, really heartfelt. Um, I wouldn't really call it a, a, a romance movie. Um, I mean, I guess it is technically, but like, 
I don't know, it was just a good, uh, just a good drama. Really excellent characterization. Um, actors are all phenomenal. Story is great. Highly recommend it. Wonder if there are people out there who don't like movies. I would not be surprised. I've actually known people who, uh, who say they don't like going to movies because they don't have the attention span for it. Like, they don't like sitting still in a movie theater for two hours or however long the movie is. Like, they watch movies, I guess, but they only watch them in their homes, possibly while they do other things. Which, I mean, I can understand where they're coming from because I like multitasking too. Like, I like playing a video game and listening to a podcast or whatever. And, you know, I'll put on a movie I've, ar- I've already seen while I do other things, while I mess around on the internet or, or play a game or whatever. But, uh... But I, I do like going to, to a movie theater and just kind of, uh... You know, losing myself in the movie. I wonder if Twitch fixed the uh, the delay issue they were having because the chat room seems to be responding to me more quickly than they have been in the past, or they have been since uh, since Twitch did the uh, did the delay. And I was watching uh, Proton John stream the other night, and uh, the chat room seemed to be responding a lot more quickly then too. So maybe they actually uh, listened to their constituents. Last time I went to a movie theater, I think I went to see Spider-Man 2. Wow. Jesus. Isn't that movie like almost 10 years old now? Or am I thinking it's Spider-Man 1? It's at least 5 years old. Oh, fudge. Oh. There's a crate up there that I did not previously see. I like going to movies. I mean, I'm I'm fortunate enough that I live somewhere where it's still pretty inexpensive, relatively. Like, I know that in big cities, a movie ticket can cost like fifteen to twenty dollars. But uh, around here, you can go see uh, a movie for about six to eight dollars, well, seven to nine dollars, really. I guess since the prices have gone up a little bit. Oh, really? You jerk. Hmm. Probably gonna have to use two bombs to get that key. That sucks. Maybe I can get sticky bombs first somehow. Haven't seen any spiders around. Oh well, I have 18 bombs, so it's not, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Hmm. Wonder if I can... I should be able to get that dog as well with that bomb. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I don't uh, I don't get popcorn or drinks or anything. I just uh, go to the movie and hang out. It's a fun experience. I mean, except when it's a bad movie, but you know, I try to be a little discerning in what movies I can see. Wikipedia says June of '04 for Spider-Man 2. So yeah, almost 10 years ago. Wow, that's nuts. Don't be spikes. Oh, there's spikes. Oh well. Sorry, dog. Oh yes. Excellent. I want all of it. I want those bombs in my hands immediately. And the paste. Uh, oh, I guess I'm done here. Got the eye. Killed the dog. Ready to go. Hmm. 
Hmm. I might as well buy this mystery box. Uh, spring shoes? That's not that bad. I mean, I did end up spending twice as much as what they would have cost were they not in a mystery box, but it's useful to have them. In the, uh, in a non-daily challenge run with my current strategy, money really isn't that important. I almost ran right into that spider. Pugs are the best damsels. Uh, I think I agree. Poor Doge, says Bippo. Yeah, I always feel bad when, uh, when things don't work out for the Doges. Aw, <laughs> oh, fudge. Oh well. If you want to throw something at those powder cakes to blow them up, uh, either a pot or a skull is the best option because uh, they won't get thrown back at you. But if you have a broken arrow, that's usually okay too because it won't hurt you. It'll just uh, stun you a little bit if, you get, if it gets knocked back into you. I went to see Sharknado, says Straight Line. Well, I uh, I can definitely see the benefits in watching a really dumb movie. Oh, hey, Shirtless Wonder. What's up? I checked out that dude's Super Monkey stream the other day. I couldn't remember your name. I thought it was like Shirtless Tom or Shirtless Dave or something. I knew it, I knew it was Shirtless something, but... Uh, I used to be kind of down on the pitcher's mitt, but I've come around um, now that I realize they can be used to uh, to throw bombs in a straight line. And if you don't have a shotgun, being able to throw a bomb, oh shit, being able to throw a bomb straight is probably the, uh, the next best thing. Alright, did anyone bet on Tiki Man? Galen did. Congratulations, Galen. And it looks like that's it. It was really close to uh, being a tiki trap, but it was the it was the actual boomerang that uh, that did me in. Okay. Uh. Well. It's just a matter of time until I actually have a good run. So, uh, you know, hang in there. I'd really like to just at least make it to hell during a stream. I think that would be the, uh, that would be the next, the next stage in my streaming career is to actually have a run where I can make it to hell. I don't even want to beat hell or make it to Yama. I just want to prove to everyone that I can at least make it there. Galen hit the jackpot. Yeah, it looks like it. She was the only one who bet on Tiki Man out of like uh, 20 bets or something. Really glad I discovered that Spelunky Roulette thing. I, uh,. I think it makes these streams a lot more fun when there's a degree of uh, of audience participation. My own sp Spelunky block, the Spelunky bucks are uh, dwindling pretty rapidly. I haven't had a good win in a while. My one goal in life is to go to hell. Yes, Bippo, that is. Uh, it's a good goal to have. I 
I mean, I know I'm, I'm certainly not going to go to heaven, so, you know, I guess hell would probably be the next best thing. Hey Duke, I'm new here. I see the lost I've seen the Lost Vikings LP years ago. Really like splunky vids on YouTube. Finally caught you live on Twitch. Oh welcome. Always nice to see a new face in the chat room. Uh Tarka? It just dropped. Man, I really like this album. I haven't listened to it in a while, but uh, it's really solid. Earthbound had some re really good music, and this is uh, this album is a really good version of that music. I was just going through my music collection, trying to find something something to listen to that would not be uh, immediately. Copyright ban. I did start a new round, right? Yeah, I did. Oh, shirtless wonder, putting a lot of faith in the scorpion. Yeah, that was a good round for Galen. That last round, she got 180 W's. Not really sure why the symbol for Splunky Bucks is a W with a line through it. I think it would be an S with a line through it. But I guess that symbol is already another kind of currency. How do I vote? Good question. Uh, just go to dukeofthebump.com slash bet and it will redirect you to the uh, Spelunky Roulette page. You have to log in with your Twitch account and uh, there will be different tabs down at the bottom for enemies, traps, uh, what have you. And you just click on which one you think is going to kill me. Sorry, I was throwing clothes in the washer. What was that? Uh, which one? I, w I was talking about a bunch of stuff. Hey. Maybe it's for Wallers, says Galen. Yes, that is what I will call the uh, Spelunky Roulette currency from now on. They are Wallers. They're light dollars, but they were hit with the, uh, the Wumbo Array. You have to change it to W for Wumbo. Alright. Uh, have not seen the key yet. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Hmm, well, I can buy this compass now while I'm here. Oh, there it is. Crap. That's a really bad position. Location. Well, I do have 24 bombs, so I guess, uh... I guess it's not that bad. Oh, hey. There's a crate up here, too. Sweet. Nice. Wow, that was definitely worth spending a couple bombs to get up here. Alright, I am really liking how this run is going so far. And you should all get your bets in now that I completely jinxed myself. A terrible chill. Huh. giving you the benefit of the doubt since you have climbing gloves. Yeah, climbing gloves are uh, pretty good. Hmm. 
Uh, let's see what's over here. Oh! <laughs> I should have uh, gotten that arrow out of the blast radius. That was not very wise. I still have a tendency, and this is something that noobs do in this game, to want to explore every region fully, or every level fully, even if there's no real reason for me to. I mean, I have the key, so and I don't really need more health, so there's really no reason for me not to just go straight for the exit, especially since I have the compass. Just try to get there as quickly as possible. But you know. I'm used to roguelikes where you always want to explore everything completely. Whew. A lot of arrow traps around here. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna bail. Jetpack in a box on five three. Wow. That's a. Uh, that's not a good. Good time to get a jetpack. All right. Maybe to, to the ends of end of the mines. Bets are now locked. Looks like everyone got their bets in. Good. The nice thing about actually playing with the sound on is that it's going to be easier to see when I'm near the black market. Because when I have when I have it turned off, you know, I have to uh keep an eye on the eye, so to speak. And now I should actually hear the ding. You know, I was thinking and uh one thing I really wish they would change in this game is that it would be really nice if they would let you know somehow if you miss the black market. Like, if the eye would just close if you are after the level with the black market on it. Because that way, at least, like, say the black market is on 2-3. And, uh, or say it's on 2-1. And I don't find it. Like, I just don't go close enough to start seeing the dings. At least I would know not to look for the black market in 2-2 two -two and 2-3. Two it wouldn't really make the game any easier because it would only help you after the fact, but it would it would at least uh, you know you wouldn't waste your time looking for a black market that's not there. Supposedly, the game is getting a patch pretty soon that changes some big things that people have complained about. At least that's what people have been saying. Um, the patch is supposed to make the HUD less intrusive since a lot of people have complained about the HUD being too big and blocking too much of the screen and the other thing the patch is supposed to address is to give you an always run option so that instead of holding down the uh, the right trigger to run you would hold it down to walk it's like an inver inverted run button which would also be really useful Since, you know, I run most of the time anyway. It would be a little hard to get used to, I think. Got my 500k achievement and my second Yama kill. Wow, congrats Pinfeldorf. Pinfeldorf is probably my biggest competition on the, uh, on the Spelunky leaderboards. He's one of, I think he's only one of two people who have actually killed Yama. At least as far as I can tell. That, that I have on my friends list, I mean. Yeah, if any of you uh, are not on my Steam friends list, make sure you, uh, make sure you add me so we can compete. I just want to check over here and make sure, make sure I'm not missing the black market. I don't think I am. <sighs> I 
Okay, I really hope it's on 2-3. That's the most frustrating thing. Is just not knowing whether you're wasting your time or not. How long am I going to stream? Uh, probably... For another, uh... Well, I'm going to stream until... 7. And then do the daily challenge. Because that's when, uh... That's when it resets. 7 my time. So, about another hour... And then daily challenge. So probably another hour and a half maybe, hopefully. Dang it. Let's see if I can kill this mantra without having to use a bomb. Yeah, there we go. Oh god. Ha! Stupid snail. Ah! Hmm. So up or down? Probably down. Yeah, there it is. Ah. All right. Things are starting to look up. Thirty-three twenty-six. World's slowest Yama kill. Well, hey, I was looking at the achievement stats the other day, or, or earlier today, actually. And it shows you like the percentage of people who play Spelunky who get various achievements. And I think it's like 2% have actually gotten the Yamakill achievement. So you know, that's a pretty big deal. You know, no matter how... How slow it might be. Because, I mean, you've done something that like 2% of the people who played this game have done. I think it's 5% for actually beating Olmec, which, uh, you think that would be a, a little higher. 5% still isn't that much. But, you know, I think there are a lot of people who, uh, who just play the game once and never mess with it again. Oh, crap. Oh, God. No, no, no! Wake up! Oh, my God, I'm still alive. How am I still alive? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Nope. Ah! One hit point. Oh, man. Well. Sure glad I, uh... Sure glad I bought all those kisses. Alright, I need to, uh, get my hand on a shotgun so I can take out that Tiki man. I really liked having a whole bunch of health. I miss the days when I had more than one health. Well, I can at least rescue that damsel who's still somehow alive and have two health. And then hopefully that will uh that'll be enough to get me to the Moai head. Cause then I'll just, you know, revive and have four health again anyway. Have a pretty good uh pretty good bomb stockpile going on. Ah, uh, crap. I hope I was close enough to the left-hand side of the screen. Yep, I was. Okay. Phew! Alright, well. That was interesting. Alright, let's uh, try to get out of here as quickly as possible. What do you say about that? Well, my head is probably not going to be on this stage. 
very, very rarely on 4-1. Has anything like this been implemented in games before? Competitive daily roguelike platformer? No, I am pretty sure this is this game is the first of its kind. Hey, it might be the first, uh, the first roguelike platformer ever, or the uh, you know the original Spelunky was. I'm not sure if any game has ever been made before Spelunky that had that particular uh, combination of genres. Oh god! <laughs> I need to get over to the left hand side of the screen and see if the my head is over there before I head to the exit. It's not looking like it. Nope. Pretty sure I I am safe to leave. Kinda wish I had the Kapala. That would make having such a small amount of health. Uh that would make it easier to deal with. There's the original rogue, but I haven't played it. Yeah, I mean Roguelikes have been around forever, but I, I'm pretty sure this is the first game to ever uh, bring the roguelike. <laughs> wow. Sucks to be that damsel. That's a really bad place to spawn. Yeah, th this is the first game that ever uh, took roguelikes and, you know, made them action games. I mean,. It kind of started the whole, the whole uh, action ro roguelike genre. That's what I like to call games like this. Some people call them roguelike likes. Some people call them uh, roguelites. <clears throat> roguelites. I like action roguelike because it's like an action RPG. It's the same, uh, the same distinction. I think. Oh God. Okay. Uh. Am I ready to ready to kill myself yet? I think I am. Because there's no chance of me getting that damsel. As soon as I uh uncover it, that UFO is gonna kill it. Alright. I regret nothing. Farming mummy barf to fifty hearts is just the best thing. I don't know how to farm Mommy Barf. I should probably look it up. Oh, there's there's a lot of new faces in, in the chat room. Hello to all of you. Feel free to, uh, to you know, say hi. Alright, um, I should actually just go straight to the exit on here. I have no reason to dawdle. I've seen some people uh, mention, I'm not sure if this is, tr this is true or not, but I've seen some people uh, act like the longer you take in the level, the more chance you have of getting a, uh, of getting a dark level. So it's really in, in your best interest to complete the level as quickly as possible if you don't have any other reason to uh, to stay in, stay in a level. I wonder what that flavor text means. You hear prayers to Kali. Normally, when you get a uh, a description like that, like when you get uh, my skin is crawling in the mines, it means that level has a lot of spiders in it. I wonder what uh, what prayers to Kali 
what uh, what condition that represents. I'm not sure. Might just be uh, might just be there to throw you off. Hmm. <clears throat> I have 50 bombs or 49 now, and I know I know that seems like a lot, but once you get to the temple, you can go through them uh, pretty quickly. I bet, man, it's gonna be so tough for me to get to Anubis on this level. Kind of wish I had a jetpack. That would really. Uh, that would really make this make this run for me. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's uh, let's go this way, so I don't have to worry about. Oh, there he is. Bye, dog. Aw, oh, man. Anubis can't uh, can't fit through there. Ah, oh, crap! I should have just thrown two. This is some, uh, some jaunty music. Oh, crap. Uh, the scepter fell into the lava. That sucks. At least it doesn't destroy it when that happens. That's, uh, that's one nice thing. It is possible for the scepter to get crushed and completely destroyed. It really sucks when that happens. I think I want to take the easy way out of here. <gasps> Fuck! Oops. That's where we're already locked. Okay, we bet Tiki Trap. Uh, congratulations, Kostya and Galen. And Straight Line. I know I should have just bombed those tiki traps. I get in a situation like that, and uh, and you know I want to save as many bombs as possible. <sighs> oh well, that's still a really good run. Any run where I make it to the temple is respectable. Still, I had too much faith in you. It says just drop. Well. If you have faith in me to actually beat this game, then yeah, that is, that is too much faith. I, I turn it down just a little bit. You can have faith that I'll get to the uh, the ice caves. That's uh, that's that's a more reasonable amount of faith, I think. I mean, you can tell how much faith I have in myself because I'm only betting. Ten wallers on myself every time. If I had more faith in myself, I would bet a little bit more than that. So I, I was looking at my uh, at my Steam stats, and this is now officially the uh, the second most played game in my Steam library. The only thing uh, with more hours is the Binding of Isaac. I'm not sure if this game will overtake the Binding of Isaac or not. Just Drop is going all in on ET. Really? What, the UFO guy? Or, or does ET refer to something else? I mean, that is a that's, a... that's a... 
pretty good bet. Those things do kill me a lot. Actually, let's, uh... You can actually see how many times you're killed by a different thing. So, let me give you an idea of what a good bet is. Like, snakes... I have not been killed by snakes very many times. Um, bats and spiders, better bet. Giant spider is a pretty good bet. Uh, I've only been killed by four scorpions, so... I'm not sure if, uh, if you want to go that route. Shopkeeper is a really good bet. But my KD ratio with the Shopkeeper is still, still in the plus. And Giant Frog is a really bad bet. I've never been killed by that thing. Wait. It says I've never been killed by the ghost? That's not right. I've been killed by the ghost several times. It's weird. Yeah, I don't think these stats are correct. Because I know I've been killed by more UFOs than that. Hmm. Is that just for this character or something? I don't think it would, it would differentiate like that. Been killed by spikes 142 times. Yeah, that that seems that seems a little low as well. Do indirect kills count like juggles? Yeah, I mean if a yeti juggles me or something, then then yeah, yeti is the uh, is the cause of death there. Yeah, I'm not sure about those stats. Some of them seem off. I will buy all of the stuff. Oh, camera. Oi. The UFO killing you is only if the laser gets you, otherwise it's just a bomb. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I would still count it as the UFO kill if I get blown up by it. For the purposes of the bet. Even if, uh, even if the game does not mechanically consider it an alien kill. I'd say do should count as a UFO kill. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh boy. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll buy these. And I'll come back if I get 10,000 or more. Which should be, uh, should be pretty doable. Alright, how much to get that? 8,800? Might come back for that too. So, if I was a braver man, I would just whip that shopkeeper in his face and help myself to his inventory. But alas, I am not. No way for me to get back up there. Oops. And I only have one rope left. Hmm, that sucks. Well, hopefully I can, uh... I can go back for that mystery box and it'll be a jetpack. And then I'll have no need for ropes anymore. I mean, I, I haven't had a jetpack yet in this playthrough. I think I'm, a, I'm about due for one, don't you? See, the game felt the same way. Ask and you shall receive. And now I shall get out of here as quickly as possible, because I only have two health. And you know what game could really use a duct tape mod? It's this game. It'd be really nice if I could just duct tape that torch to that damsel. That would make my life a lot easier. Aw. 
The arrow trap killed that gold bug. Oh yeah, what's up, CPC Gamer? Good to see ya. I like it when the uh, when the chest is on a snake level because it's usually to find it's usually easy to find the chest and the key. A lot of times they're just side by side in the snake pit, but statistically, at least one of them is probably going to be in the snake pit. Did I get your notes this morning? Um, oh, about the uh, Mario World ROM hack. the Skype message because I got that otherwise I guess not yeah CPC Gamer uh, left a comment because I, I was talking about speedrun well it's not a ROM hack I guess um, there's this Super Mario World speedrun where the person reprograms the game on the fly to put a Pong game and a Snake game in Super Mario World using using sprites that are in the game they use a bot to reprogram the game so that there there are too many games it's fucking crazy you should uh... oh and where to find Meat Boy yes uh... the Meat Boy character that you can unlock is located in the warm level which uh... I'll, I'll probably get him sooner or later. I don't go to the worm level that much because it's really difficult to do if you're also trying uh, a hell attempt. I guess I will uh, go ahead and lock the bets now that I actually made it out of the mines. Oh, that's a lot of bets. This is taking off. I'm glad. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if URLs are turned on in the chat room, but... Uh, if you can post the URL, definitely do that. Because that is flipping insane. See, I thought it was just they hacked the ROM to change the code, and then they just they used a glitch to trigger. Uh, they used a glitch to trigger the code and execute it during the game. But apparently, it's actually being reprogrammed on the fly. And I have no idea how that works. Which I guess is why I'm not a, uh, I'm not a speedrunner. I think it was something they did for, uh, AGDQ. The Awesome Games Done Quick Marathon. Because it has, like, uh, it has, like, a title card that says AGDQ 2014. Oh, uh, there it is. Yeah, that uh, you go to youtube.com slash what CPC Gamer just uh, just linked. All right, pretty confident that the black market isn't on this level. I uh. I looked around here pretty thoroughly, I think. Let's give it one more, uh, one more pass over, just, uh, just to make sure. Huh, I can buy a, a fresh Maddox if I wanted one. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not here.
See, normally I like live speedruns as opposed to tool assisted speedruns. I mean, tool, tool assisted speedruns are, are interesting, you know, from an a academic standpoint, but they're not as much fun to watch as live speedruns, except when I do really crazy shit like that. Oh, hey. Yama Yama Ding Dong is in the chat room. That dude is really good at Splunky. Oh god. Get the hell away from me. His streams are, uh... Are often what I'm listening to while I play. But yeah, as far as tool assist speedruns go, like the really insane glitches are the most fun ones to watch. There was this uh this Link's Awakening speedrun. Where there's this glitch you can trigger in that game that just completely breaks the entire world. It's really fun to watch. It's like you are uh I mean, it's just this hell world hidden within the game that you can you can do this. I mean, it's, it seems like it's not that hard to to get the glitch to happen. You just have to walk a certain way into like a corner of a building or something, and it, it just teleports you to this insane hell world. It's pretty fun to watch. Alright, uh, it does not look like the black market is here, so I will proceed. wonder how long it would take to memorize a game like Super Metroid enough to RTS it in under 50 minutes or so. I don't know. Like, I can't even imagine how long these people have to play these games to be able to do what they do. Like, I was watching, um, my favorite speedrun of AGDQ, well, I didn't watch that many, but, um, he did this another year as well. His name is Trihex, and he does Yoshi's Island speedruns, and that's one of my favorite games, and it is, it is just super fun to watch, uh, someone just break that game from beginning to end. And I can't even imagine how long... How long it took him to get to the point where he can, uh, where he can do that live on the internet, you know, with thousands and thousands of people watching. Now, I mean, obviously he didn't have a perfect run because, you know, there were other factors messing him up. Like they had a fire drill during that speed run, and everyone had to uh, to exit the building. So, you know, that kind of interrupted his flow. But still, I mean, even at his worst, he's still a billion times better at that game than I will ever be. Oh, shit. I did not mean to, uh, mean to place that bomb. You know, I've been looking for a ding, and I have not seen one. It says 2-3, right? So it's here. It's either here or I missed it. I'm going to be really disappointed if the black market is not in this location. I feel like I explored 2-1 and 2-2 enough. See, this is why I wish the eye would just close if you're, if you're past the level with the entrance to the black market. Because then at least I would know, okay, well, I missed the black market. I might as well stop wasting my time. I can at least get a sacrifice out of this, I guess. And try to turn this into another Olmec kill.
I really need to, uh, to get a few more Olmec kills under my belt because my kill death ratio is just really bad. Like, I've only, I've only won like six times out of a thousand. It's just not, uh, it's not a very good ratio. Alright, did I miss the black market? Black market was probably in 2 2 in the bottom left corner with the vault. Hmm. Is anyone else hyped for the new Spelunky patch? Yeah, I really hope they, uh. I hear they're changing the HUD. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly it's gonna look like. But I really hope they make it, like, translucent. I mean, I'd be fine if it just looked exactly like it looks now. But with like an alpha transparency of like 50% or so. Because then you, at least you could see when there are enemies hiding behind the uh, hiding behind the HUD. And the uh, the run toggle. I'm not sure. Or the uh, the always run to toggle. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not. It. Uh, I mean it would make sense. Since I'm always running almost all of the time anyway. But it would be really hard to get used to having to hold down the button to walk instead of, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure I'd get used to it eventually, but it would just take a little bit of time. Alright, well, I guess this is just an Olmec run, which is actually good for me because it means I actually have a chance of, uh, of my bet being fruitful because if I bet for myself to win and I'm trying to make it to hell probably not going to happen but if I'm just doing another Olmec run I actually have a chance of making some of, some of my money back Go for a worm run. Oh yeah, I could go to the worm level. They should add an option for always run. Well, I mean that's what they're doing. It's uh, or do you mean always run, and you don't have <laughs> you don't even have the option of walking? I I do like being able to walk at certain times. All right, well, what the heck? Why not? I might, I might actually be able to uh, to get the Meat Boy unlock. How do you get Meat Boy? He's in the worm right near the butt. Oh god. <laughs> kind of wish I had a shotgun or something. That would make the worm level a little easier to deal with. At least I still have my Matic. Although who knows how many uh, how many hits I still have with it. Probably not many. But I do have 41 bombs and since I'm not doing a hell run now I don't have to to be as conservative with them as I normally would. So when you say near the butt you just mean near the exit, right? Oh god. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Yes, Chris Knife Kit. I really like the Chris Knife. I wish it was easier to uh to do a, to go to the worm level if you're trying to do a hell run, because the Chris, Chris knife is just really fun to uh, to play with. I guess if you hit these things with the matic, well, no, they still, huh? That's interesting. There's no way to permanently get rid of these things. Can you bomb them to get rid of them, or do they still regenerate? No, still regenerate. Okay, well, I'm going to. Uh, Take the coward's way out, I think. Of 
Chris knife is possibly in the spelling of Chris, a Persian dagger. Oh yeah. Oh, well, actually, I think I, uh, I think I read that it's a Dune reference. There's a, uh, there's something in the Dune books called a Chris knife. Not, not sure if, uh, not sure if that's ac oh god, if that's accurate or not, but uh, it, it would make sense since. Dune is kind of known for its worms. Now, is Meat Boy just in a normal coffin, like all the other character unlocks, or is there something special you have to do to unlock him? Because I'm not really 100% sure what to look for. Oh god, that UFO is a little too close for comfort. Ah! Motherfucker! Okay, well. Who bet on spikes? Galen, CPC Gamer, Morris, Straight Line, Tarka, Kostya. You guys are all very good at this game. Uh, at Splunky Roulette. Oh man. He's in a green cocoon near the butt. Meat Boy is in a see-through sack on the back wall. Okay, uh, brief, uh, break here. Uh, BRB. Alright, sorry about that, I'm back. New HUD with new update if anyone is wondering. Oh yeah, let me uh, let me turn links on real quick. Wait, can I turn links on from here? Uh... I don't know. I'd have to go into the actual settings. Which, uh... Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Sorry. Um, I mean, I do know how to do it. I just don't want to, uh... To go into my settings and stuff during a stream. All right, let's uh, let's get right back on that horse. I still feel like that was a pretty good run. I mean, going to the worm level is a it's a risk because I've only been there like three times in the entire time I've been playing this game. But you know, since I fudged up my chance of doing a hell run. I, uh... Uh... Here, let me, uh... I guess as long as I 
don't go onto the page with the string key, it should be fine. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Channels and videos, maybe? Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Block hyperlinks. Okay. Uh, save changes. Yeah, I guess I have no re real reason to have those turned off because I'm not popular enough to get, like, st spammers in my chat room yet. Oh, yeah, start the bets. Thank you for rem reminding me. Okay. Everyone get your bets in. Worm level is absolutely easier if you have the jetpack. Yeah, I had the jetpack and uh, and it didn't work out. Of course, the uh, the ice caves worm level is a lot harder than the uh, the jungle worm level. I've had spammers says so just drop. I guess I'm lucky. I I think I've gotten like one spammer. The entire time I've been streaming on Twitch. And I have almost zero viewers at all times. Well, I don't know. I guess the, uh, the spam boss just favored me. Hmm. Will it trigger that thing if I use a rope here? I don't think so. Oh well. I'm sure I'll find more bombs somewhere. I thought you re enabled links. I did. I, uh, I, I unchecked the box that says disallow links, so I'm not sure. Is that not, isn't that not showing up for anyone here? It's Im Im imager i m g u r dot com slash x h capital g capital u lowercase q capital m lowercase q. Hopefully that is not. Uh, well, never mind. Yeah, I don't know. Twitch is uh. Twitch the chat room has some problems. It's better now than it used to be, but uh, yeah, things just randomly don't work. We did get that weird guy in the Google Hangout though. Oh yeah, I forgot about that guy. Yeah, whenever I whenever I did a Google Hangout, I just had the most random weird people show up. Like, there are people out there just looking for random public Google Hangouts to just go into and be weird. Twitch, uh, Twitch doesn't have as much of a problem with that. Yeah, Galen still times out every stream. She still has to, uh, like, she has to say something in chat every now and then just to keep the chat from timing out. It's really weird. I've heard a lot about that uh, that Hitbox website, hitbox.tv. Like some people are saying it's the new twitch.tv, but um, the couple of times I've gone to a stream that was hosted there didn't really seem to work that well. I mean, plus everything is, you know, everything is geared for Twitch. Like, Sp Spelunky Roulette is specifically designed to integrate with Twitch. So, hosting on Hitbox, I would not be able to do stuff like that. If it did work.
Oh man. Look at all these damn spike or uh arrow traps. Has anyone in the chat used Hitbox? Has anyone had any luck with it? Because I am all about alternative to, tw to Twitch. Oh yeah, that weird guy in the Google Hangout. He was talking about like his four-wheeler like seeing UFOs on his four-wheeler or something really dumb like that. I wonder if Google Hangouts have gotten any better. I haven't messed with them in a while. That's another thing that always seemed to work maybe 50% of the time. I've watched a few streams on Hitbox that worked decently. Did it? I might have to, uh... Might have to try that out someday. <laughs> I love the animation when you hit those spiders with something that doesn't kill them but sends them flying. They look like a pissed off cat. It's really funny. Hitbox seems to be rather unimpressive at this point, but competition is always a good thing. Yeah, I agree. Ooh. I like it when I get the black market right off the bat like that. Uh, let's see. Five bombs? Okay. Of course, it would have been cool to get to go to the, uh, go to the Haunted Castle level first, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. Man, I was really bummed out that the Haunted Castle, the coffin in it, didn't have a new character. Whatever happened to your magical chat script? I keep forgetting to use it. I feel like a real piece of shit, because Exurgia, you know, was cool enough to make that script, and I just, I never think to use it. But I actually, uh, I actually set up the, uh, the chat syncing today, so when I post this on YouTube, It'll have captions again. Yeah. If you're watching this, Exurgia, sorry. I, I'm not... I didn't mean to be ungrateful. I just don't bring too good. Uh... Okay, this should be good. Oh wait, I have 30,000 gold. Is there a, uh, a kissing booth? Probably not. No? Okay. Well, fine. I guess I'll just hang on to this gold then. I bet you didn't know Splunky was a cover base shooter. But it actually is. Game is a new Gears of War. Hide behind a piece of wall. Grab a shotgun. You know, a lot of, uh. Hey! Fuck you, guy! There are a lot of, uh. Waste high barriers for you to hide behind. Oh god! Can that guy jump out? Yes, he can. Hmm. Oh wait, fuck, I'm out of bombs? Really? I, 
forgot. <laughs> I guess I haven't picked up any more. I'm just so. Wait. There were no bombs in any of those shops? That is a. Uh, that's a pain in the neck. Alright, well, that guy disarmed, so. All I have to do is. Oh, wait. <laughs> that guy wasn't disarmed. Man. I usually like it when the uh, when the black market has more bombs than that. Oh well, I should be okay. Oh man, I guess I'm gonna have to deal with this ghost. I was hoping I could just slip by it undetected. Everything is a cover-based shooter, says CBC Gamer. Uh, you don't take cover in... Well... In Galaga. You don't take cover in that. You do take cover in Space Invaders, though. Which is what I was about to say. Space Invaders, the world's first cover-based shooter. See, the trick is to shoot through your own barrier. A lot of people don't know that. If you want to be a, uh, a pro Space Invaders player, you have to learn the uh, advanced strats. Is that siren sound the music, or is that coming from outside? I guess it's the music it didn't sound like a normal police siren. Hmm. Oh, hey, guy. Hmm. What would be the best way to go about this? I guess if I just hang out here. Oh, God. See, if I was good, I'd probably just go down there and shoot him, but, uh, but I'm not that good yet. It's okay. I'm confident I will find more bombs. The bomb gods will provide. <laughs> I learned that from Fry on Futurama, says Galen. Yes. You should have shot where I was going to be, not where I was. That was a good episode. Uh, rest in peace, Futurama. Ah! Whew. I came damn close to, uh, to being bubbled to death. to get that guy without having to waste a bomb. Now that I'm super in need of the health, but I have all these ropes, I'm probably not going to need. So, you know, what the hell. Ah! Well, so much for that health. One of these days I'm going to go for the Rescue 10 Damsels achievement during a stream. I might, uh, I might do that as a break from, uh, from trying Hell Run. The 10 Damsels thing should be a little bit easier than, uh, than a Hell Run. Man, that guy is really aggressive. I don't know what his deal is. Should have gone back for that shotgun, but oh well. Doom 
Duke's pro roping skills over Spice. Yeah. I am the original pro roper. A dupe on minions pro roper yeah my new entry in uh, in the extreme sports genre all right no more I had onward and downward Duke is pretty good at worms. Uh, I don't know if pretty good is accurate. Um, I'm definitely not as good as, as I used to be. But even at my best, I wasn't great. Aw oh, man. It's a freaking psychic alien on this level. Somewhere. I don't know. Oh, there he is. Fun fact, the psychic alien always has a jetpack behind him. So if you get here and you don't have a jetpack, that's a good way to pick one up. Although I have died quite a few times attempting to do that. If you have sticky bombs or a shotgun, though, he's pretty easy to take out. You just have to make sure you, uh, you blow up all of those turrets. Ah, there you are. You big, ugly bastard. Alright. See, there's a damsel on this level. There it is. Hmm. Not sure if it's worth wasting one of my bombs on, though. Plus, that area looks like a death trap. Which is fine, since, you know, I'm going to have to kill myself anyway. But, uh, I probably will not be able to get the damsel to the exit before death happens. Ooh, I have an idea for a good death. Yeah! Frozen and spike to death. That's a good way to go. That looks like the final boss of any given R-Type. I've never made it to the, the last boss of R-Type. Or any R-Type game. I'm not good at those sorts of games. I mean, I guess I could be if I put the uh, the time and effort into getting good at them, but uh, eh, not really my cup of tea. Ah! Well, gee, I'm not even going to stick around and say hi. Give me your shotgun. Hmm, okay. Lock. Oh. I guess I forgot to lock the bets. Okay. See, that's why it's good to have pitcher's mitts. Because you can deal with with obstacles like that much more easily. I really don't have that many bombs though. Which is kind of a bummer. I doubt this will uh this will turn into a hell run for me.
best not to piss those alligator people off at all. Because if you if they start teleporting around, things can get uh, can get pretty ugly. Oh man! Phew! That was a close one. Up oh, there he is, and he's all walled off. Great. Hmm. That dude doesn't have a shotgun. Wonder where it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, that'll make it. Uh... Oh man, Jesus! Look at all those swamps. This sucks. Okay. Well, let's. Uh... Ah, crap. I'm gonna have to use two bombs to get through here. Or two bombs to get through there safely, anyway. Oh! <sighs> well... I guess... Shit happens. What was, what was the cause of death there? Crushed? Okay. What would that be? Traps? Yeah, crush trap. Okay. Well, who bit on the crush trap? Um. Uh, Kasha did. Congratulations. And that looks like the only one. Uh. Oh no. Tarka did. And Pinfledor. Oh, well, congratulations to all of you. Sigh. That was a pretty good trap combination. I am not going to lie. Alright, well, we only have seven minutes until the daily challenge resets. But I'm not going to sit here for seven minutes, so I'll try to get another run out of the way. I like streaming the daily challenge as soon as it starts. Like the very minute it becomes available. It's like, you know, breaking news coverage. Like an exclusive world's first look at the daily challenge for January 27th. Of course, it's probably not going to work out that nicely. Unless I die in, uh, in seven minutes. Did I start the new? Oh no, here we go. Alright, get your bets in everyone. This music adds to the hilarity. Yeah, it is... It is kind of a bummer not having, like, the shopkeeper music. Because it's really... Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this track. Because the, the shopkeeper music gets really frantic and, you know, it adds to the tension. But, uh... You know, listening to the same music over and over again, this gets really dull after a while. That was a brutal, sad death. Yes, it was. But you know, when you think about it, there's really no good death. I don't really like this track that much. It's not, uh, it does not represent the spirit of Earthbound to me. I mean, not that... Yeah. It's not really a good fit for the remix album, I don't think. Or not remix, but covers, arrangements, whatever you want to call them. Uh, let's see. I guess... Hmm. Man, I want all of these. What's most important in life? Uh, I guess that and the pitcher's mitt. I'll probably get spike shoes at some other point in this game. 
on your dome like baseballs and face falls to the ground calling like maze walls. Now they can't stop us because we move too fast. It doesn't represent the spirit of Earthbound, but that's why it's funny. It's like that Mega Man 2 rap battle. I don't think I've heard that one. I don't know. I mean, I guess it would be... I guess, uh... An Earthbound rap battle could be good. I just don't really like this one that much. I don't know. It's. I mean, it's okay. I don't want to talk shit or anything, but, uh... It's not my favorite track on the album. Yeah, dukeofthebum.com slash bet for new arrivals in the chat room who want to, uh... To bet on my eventual demise. I come from the lab where the samurai hail. I've got to make my mess up proud. Then I will fail. These demons are attacking because I'm no defensive dude. Yeah, Duke of the Bump dot bet. Wait, I got the food. Hell's back again. Prince is back on top. Oh my god, could go back. That's the, uh, that's the top level domain of. I don't know. I tried to think of a country that starts with the letters B E T. It's a top level domain of B E T. The television channel. Belarus? That doesn't really have a T in it. Yeah, that's it. You don't get any more. Fuck you. I should have just run under that spider. I didn't need to waste a bomb there. Oh well. Apparently it's a three dimensional plastic case with a modern day circuit board mount inside with the sole intensive purpose of entertaining a modern day audience of years ago by not limited to today. Duh, but I've never played this game. Sounds lame, but it's true in this unfortunate lack of gameplay and I cannot undo it. The cartridge is downstairs, you don't fuck away. Bet to Swaria? Yes. I come from the Republic of Betiswaria. Duke owns a private island named Betiswaria. Now, if I owned an island, it would probably be called the Bump. Whenever I have, whenever I'm playing a game where I can name my town or whatever, I always name it the Bump. Cause you know, it's good to be the Duke of your own Bump. Uh, okay, I guess I'm done here. It's the exclusive dude name for Bethesda, Maryland. Or Bethesda, the game company. I don't think they're big enough to have their own top level domain yet. Would, would I be the Duke of the Bump or would I be the President? I'd be both. I'd be the President, the Duke, and the Dictator for Life. And His Exalted Royal Majesty. My country would be a, uh, a democratic, socialist, totalitarian monarchy. Duchy. Did you know that if you live in Canada, there's a website where you can order a free poster of the Queen of England? One of my friends in Canada linked me to it the other day. Oops. Oh well. You just have to send like... maybe I think you maybe have to pay postage or something. But yeah, you can get a free poster of the Queen of England. Seems a little odd to me. Because, I mean, you know who else gave out free posters of himself. You know, I'm not going to, uh... To make any... Any false equivalencies, but, you know, I don't know. If I could ask the Queen one question, it would be, do you ever get bored of the National Anthem? Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess the Queen would hear 
the National Anthem a lot. I would say the same thing about the President of the U.S., but I don't think the National Anthem really gets played at that many, like, presidential events. I don't know. You never hear it on, like, the State of the Union address or anything like that. You only hear it at baseball games. Or like... I don't know. You, you never really hear it in an official capacity here. Well, the daily challenge has uh, has just rolled over, so if any of you watching are interested, you can go ahead and begin that and see what I'm in for when I start when I start the daily challenge here. As soon as this runs over, or you can wait until I start the daily challenge and we can go through them at the same time, so you can uh, you can hear me commentate on it as you play. Like Splunkyception or something. I don't know. That's a really bad joke. I don't know why I said that. Oh, fudge. I did not mean to throw the bomb in that direction. Just making sure there's nothing else I want to spend my money on before I, uh,. Before I get this party started. I mean, I guess I should have bought those bombs before I pissed everyone off. But, uh... I don't know. There's still... Like a part of me in the back of my mind that uh, that's that cares about score even when it's not a daily challenge. Hmm. Might be able to save a few bombs. Ah, uh, it would have been cool if that ice block fell down and crushed the shopkeepers. But that's uh, that's not how physics work in this game. Well, it got blocked by the uh, the little ladder ledge there. I have 60 bombs. That is pretty good. Hmm. Alright. Should be able to uh, do this without killing myself. Oh god. Oh fuck. Damn. Oh well. How can you how can you be concerned with saving bombs when you have 60? Well, you know, towards the end of the game, you can go through the bombs really easily, especially once you get to hell. Because getting around without dying becomes that much more difficult. I mean, plus you still need plenty of bombs to kill Olmec, and you need plenty of bombs to kill Yama. So, you, you can really never have enough bombs in this game. And if you're doing a a score run, then yeah, you do want to have the bomb, <clears throat> have the bombs for the city of gold. Yeah. Now it's a worm slash meat run. Uh, I don't know. The worm. Wait, are you just saying that because you bet on something in the worm level? You cheater. Look at CPC gamer trying to cheat. Are you guys gonna take that from him? 
trying to convince me to go to the worm level. I'm on to you. I mean, I might go to the worm level, but if I do, it's because I decided that's what I want to do. And not because of CPC Gamer's peer pressure. Oh, good. The shopkeeper was kind enough to kill himself for me. That was friendly of him. I saved my chat life for Salty Bet, my good sir. That's right. Always bet on DBZ. I mean, if, if one of the options is a DBZ character and you don't bet on them, I don't know what you're doing. I mean, you can bet you can bet against DBZ if you want, but I don't know why you'd want to. DBZ is just it's OP. They should really do something about how unfairly overpowered DBZ characters are in uh, in Salty Bet. It's really it really makes it kind of unfun. Getting through hell without using 20 bombs just to clear the way to the exits is hard, says, Pen says Pinfold Dwarf. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, I can get me a jetpack. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, man. I held my breath the entire time I was frozen. I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's uh, see if we can take this alien guy out. Wow, there's not even any turrets down there. That'll make this a bit easier. Now, the trick to killing the alien is not to shoot when those force fields are up. If you shoot when the force fields are up, you're going to have a bad time. Hmm. Well, since I'm not going to hell, I don't have to be conservative with these bombs, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do that. And that should... kill the damsel. Just like I was planning. Excellent. It's all falling into place. Sorry, Kali. I know you like them a little fresher than that, but uh, that's the best I can do. So apparently, the way sacrificing works is a lot more complicated than I thought at first. Like, enemies actually have like a point value assigned to them, and like dead enemies and uh, and damsels have a different point value than uh, than living ones. So... Uh, what? How did you wake up? So I think dead yetis are worth... Okay, you need 16 points to, uh... to get the Kapala. Or 8 points to get the, uh... Oh my god. 16 points to get the Kapala or 8 points to get the item. Uh, damsels are worth 8 if they're alive. And I think they're worth 4 if they're dead. Uh, cavemen are worth 2 if they're alive and 1 if they're dead, I believe. And I think yetis are 4 if they're alive, 2 if they're dead. I don't know. I might, uh, I might have that mixed up a little bit. Alright, so who bet on... Blown Up? 
Wait, what exactly was that? Was that a mine? Oh no, I was trying to bomb to get that shotgun, that's right. So it was just a bomb. So, accident bomb. A bit on that. Uh, only one person bet on it. Oh, Kasha. Congratulations, Kasha. That's probably a pretty good bit of dough since you were the only one who bet on that. Such relaxed music, you have a relaxing voice too. Thank you. Tense when I watch, even with the relaxing sounds. Yeah, I try to, uh, I try to ease the tension as much as possible. Yeah, okay, I got knocked out by the shotgun because, okay, I was trying to bomb that spring because it, it kept bouncing the shotgun up in the air and I couldn't get the shotgun any other way. So I put a bomb there to destroy it, but the shotgun hit me in the head and knocked me out, causing me to be blown up by my own bomb. So that's the whole, the whole sad story. Okay, well it's time to do a daily challenge. So if any of you uh, have been waiting for me to do the daily challenge, daily challenge before you start yours, you can go ahead and do that now. So, uh, oh, did I start a new round? Yeah, I did. Okay. <clears throat> So, my strategy for the daily challenge is pretty much the same as a normal playthrough. Um, basically, I'm just going to try to get to the City of Gold and uh, you know, get as much, as much money as I can from that. But still, I still want to have enough bombs to, to kill Olmec as well. Because if you kill Olmec, that's 50,000 probably not going to go to hell during a daily challenge run. So if you were going to bet on hell, uh, I might advise you to rethink your bet. So yeah, City of Gold Olmec is pretty much my, uh, my, my MO here. Which, I haven't made it to the City of Gold once during this live stream, so I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Or Olmec. I've not done either thing during this live stream because I'm a filthy noob. But, uh, that's the plan. Who, who has played Dungeon Keeper 2 back in the day? Uh, not me. Is Dungeon Keeper that game that's like, uh, that's like Evil Genius where, like, you place monsters and traps in a dungeon and, uh, try to kill adventurers that come through. I've heard a lot about that game, but I've never actually played any of the Dungeon Keeper games. Or Evil Genius, for that matter. But uh, I have friends who play that one, so I'm kind of more familiar with that. Alright, so the only thing I buy during a daily challenge is bombs. Because bombs... <laughs> oh man. Uh, bombs will pay for themselves if you can make it to the city of gold. But yeah, other... I mean, I don't spend a lot of money on bombs either. I'll buy like one bomb box. But other than that, I want to conserve as much money as possible. I kind of wish I didn't get hit by that arrow trap. I'm going to be honest. That is not the way I wanted that to go. Oh, hey. Hmm. That's cool. That is a pretty fortuitous arrangement. Of course... You know, everyone else got the same arrangement, so it's not like it really helps me that much. I 
Dungeon Keeper is more of an RTS than a theme sim park. Theme park sim. Yeah, I'm. I'm not really an RTS guy, so probably not going to play that one. Troll arrow trap. Yeah, I agree. Oh man, jetpack. Ooh. How am I going to pass that up? <sighs> it's too risky. Hate to do it, but I'm not good enough to take out that shopkeeper. And I don't want the daily challenge run to end this or this soon. So for anyone playing along with me, listening to the stream as you play, I did not go for the jetpack. Really hard to pass up, but uh, that, that is not a gamble I'm really willing to make at this stage. Now if there wasn't a daily challenge run, I would just, I would just grab the uh, jetpack and fly away. Because, you know, in a normal run, that that's uh, that's perfectly acceptable risk. Normally, I can get away, and uh, sometimes the run even works out for me. Okay, when I do that, but since it's a daily, the daily challenge special in any way, or is it just everyone gets the same seed? I'm pretty sure it's just everyone gets the same seed. I don't think they're any different than just a normal seed. And yes, you only get one attempt at the at the daily challenge. Which is why uh <clears throat> which is why theoretically I'm uh, being more careful than I otherwise would. I don't know how it's worked out for me so far, but uh, I mean, I'm back up to four health. It's uh this run is still definitely salvageable. I like throwing bombs from the top when I go after the big spiders because if you throw them from the bottom there's a chance they won't uh, they won't get close enough to the spider to actually kill it. It's rare but it happens every now and then. See this is how you deal with the troll arrow traps. You carry one of these things around with you and uh, you can get hit. See I thought you had to be facing the arrow trap but you can get hit in the back and uh, and the poor mouse will take the hit instead of you, which is really helpful. I highly recommend it. Ooh! Early sacrifice, nice. If I can get the Kapala, then uh, then there's a lot of hope for this run. Ah! I was wondering if uh, if stuff like that is also part of the random seed. Like, is the chest random when you get it, or is it randomized when the dungeon is created? Ah, crap. And uh, I was actually watching a stream, or a video, of someone doing the same daily challenge run that I did several, several days ago. And uh, yeah, the exact same chest had a bomb in it. So that is part of the seed as well. Nice tip, didn't know that mouse trick. Yeah, I, I, uh, I figured that out after, uh, after a bit of experimentation. And it's not just the mice, of course, any, uh, any of the little critters crawling around the, uh, the, the little blue frogs in this level or the grasshoppers in the, uh, in the temple work the same way. 
Ah, oh, just rep died to a fall on spikes. GG. Ah! God. Ooh. There's a lot of bombs up there. Cannot really spend the money on them, though. I mean, I have a pretty good supply, but, you know, can always use more bombs. Ooh, yeah, it's worth getting that damsel, I think. Since so I'm back down to two health. I wonder if anyone has done a stream, like, on multi-twitch or something. Where multiple people do the daily challenge at the same time, and people are like actually watching them uh, compete in real time. That would be pretty fun. Especially if they were like talking on Skype. They're like talking shit to each other and stuff. That'd be pretty fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, time to lock the bets. So hopefully everyone has your bet in. I wonder how much time I have left on the soundtrack. Probably enough to uh, get me to the end of this. I think it's on repeat anyway. <clears throat> Alright, well, I did not see, uh, see a ding. I hope I uh, see or hear a ding. I hope I don't miss the, uh, the black market. That would really stink. Just Rob says, I'm down for it. It gave me a reason to actually play. Yeah, that that might be fun. Have to, I'll have to uh, <clears throat> have to set something like that up for the next stream. If anyone else would be interested in something like that, uh, if you want to uh, stream the challenge concurrently, let me know. And, you know, join the Steam group. Uh, just go to dukeofthebomb.com and there's a link to the Steam group so we can uh, coordinate stuff like that. <clears throat> and join the Steam group for uh, for stream announcements and you know all that fun stuff. I think they updated the soundtrack or something, because I don't remember this track. I just re-downloaded it, uh, because I couldn't find it on my hard drive. There's something on the website about, uh, <clears throat> about getting the soundtrack again if you don't have the newest version or something. And there were a bunch of bonus tracks, but they were, like, uncompleted tracks, so I didn't, uh, I didn't include them in the media player. Oh yeah, there's a, uh, oh man, there's an altar there. I should have, uh, should not have prematurely rescued that damsel. Oh well. There's a, a vocal version and an instrumental version of this song. I kind of prefer the instrumental. No, nothing against the singer, but... Trying to I'm trying to debate if I should go up and look for the uh fuck. I should probably just get out of here before I kill myself. How many hours do I have in this again? Uh like 150 some I think. Of course a lot of that is just leaving Spelunky running and then all tabbing out and doing something else because you know, I take I'll uh, get frustrated and take a break and not go back to the game for a few minutes. So, I'm not sure how many hours are uh, are tied up in that. You can kind of cheat like that. Play a daily challenge on another account or watch someone else play it first. Yeah, you could. Um, <clears throat> I mean, that would kind of take away the fun of it, but uh, theoretically, yeah, you could... Uh, you can game the system like that. I saw a, uh, I saw a, a ding. Where is it? Of course, if you really wanted to cheat, you could just download Cheat Engine or something, where there are tools that let you, uh, 
Like, there's a tool called Seed Lunky, which basically lets you play the same seed over and over again. So, you know, th there are ways to, to cheat at this game if, if you really want to. I don't know why you would, uh, why you'd ruin it like that. Where the hell was that ding? Maybe it's over further this way? Oh. Fudge. Well, let's, uh, let's get out of here first. Man, what the hell? Is it down in the bottom right-hand corner? Yep, it's getting faster. It's gotta be down here. Doesn't it? This is a really shitty black market location. Yep, there it is. Can I do this without pissing that guy off? Oh man. Alright. Wow. That is really a bummer. Doesn't that make the whole daily leaderboard obsolete? Or is it protected somehow? I mean, they're definitely... I don't know about the daily leaderboard. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, the, the high score leaderboard and stuff like that are definitely... <clears throat> there are definitely people on the leaderboard who uh, who cheated by using uh, Seed Lunky and getting the same seed over and over again. And that's just kind of... Uh, I mean, you kind of have to deal with that in any game. I mean... Any game with leaderboards is going to have people, you know, gaming it. It's kind of a, uh, a sad fact of life. I forgot I don't have gloves. I should have bought those gloves first. Asshole. Oh. I lured him out. Oh god. Die, you asshole. I'm not sure if I actually killed him or not, but he's out of the way. I love this track. You can always tell when the shopkeeper dies because their bodies become fountains of gold. Should have brought the torch down here. Okay, I'm not making the same mistake I made that one playthrough. We don't talk about that playthrough. There's this old XBLA game called Marble Blast Ultra, where the leaderboards always had Unreal Times on top. Yeah, I mean, people always find ways to exploit, exploit the lead leaderboards. It sucks. It is unfortunate that people would... Uh, want to ruin an aspect of the game for people, but, uh, but it happens. The leaderboard for Sonic 4 Episode 1 are dominated by the same guy who cheated. Clearly, he is the very coolest of guys and not a complete tool. Oh, yes. absolutely freaking lootly The guy is <clears throat> a hero among men. And not a complete jackass.
All right, I do not see. Ooh, it's an ultra. Nice. I am going to take advantage of that ultra. Is it altar or altar? <clears throat> I always used to say altar, but I don't think that's correct. Nice. The altar sounds like the verb. Like to alter something. So that doesn't really sound right to me either. Of course, the problem with the shotgun is that you kill everything uh, before you can get close enough to collect their precious fluids. I don't mean to bring up an age-old question, but I heard someone mention using a controller is better for this game. Um, I mean, really it does just come down to personal preference. I could not play this game with the keyboard. I used to play it with the keyboard. Well, I played uh, Spelunky Classic with the keyboard. And I could just not imagine going back to doing that. I'm of the opinion that uh, some controllers are more suited for certain genres of games than others. Uh, a controller is good for a platformer, and a keyboard and mouse is good for a first-person shooter. That's, uh, that's my uh, general attitude about it. <clears throat> Of course, there's no point in me collecting blood now because I'm, I'm about to uh, come back with four health anyway. Ah! I'm really glad the Moai head is on this level because that would have been a really dumb game ending mistake otherwise. They hack me game so that guys like you get annoyed. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> there are people on the internet whose goal in life is to make the, the internet a miserable experience for, every, for everyone else, and uh, it's really unfortunate, but uh, I don't see that changing anytime soon. Alright, remember, shopkeeper by the exit. Do not approach. Or approach with caution. See, the best thing to do is to just aggro them and let them lead to their deaths. At least in the ice skate levels. Oh, it's nice enough to leave a shotgun behind, too. feel quite comfortable with the keyboard, just thought I might have missed something. Hey, if the keyboard works for you, go for it. That's, uh, n never let anyone tell you that you're playing the game wrong. You should play the game however you feel the most comfortable playing it. If that means playing Splunky with the keyboard or playing, uh, I don't know, Halo or Call of Duty or whatever with the controller. Go for it. But if you find that you are not having much success using a keyboard, then uh, <clears throat> I would suggest at least trying the controller and see how uh, see how it feels. But you know, a lot of the uh, a lot of the big names in the Spelunky uh, <clears throat> community so to speak, uh, use a keyboard. So, you know, whatever whatever works for you. Do it like Duke. Compete against your friends, not the main leaderboard. Yes, exactly. And see, that's another reason... <clears throat> that's another reason... Uh, well, I was talking earlier about how if you want any hope of being competitive you have to uh, do ridiculously tedious things like mine uh, ghost mine gems or uh, or restart the game over and over again until you get a good seed and uh, 
you know, sometimes you just have to let it go. Well, that was a pretty good challenge run until the crocodile man telefragged me. I didn't even know that could happen. I was telefragged. How... How are you supposed to deal with that? Because, I mean, it's not like you can kill those guys in one hit. They're always going to be teleport at least once. And you can't avoid them completely. Ugh. <laughs> okay, well, did anyone bet on... Alligator man. Doesn't look like it. Man. That's a real bummer, man. That's a really lousy way to die. Croc man is, uh. appears to be the official name. Alright, well, let's pick my controller up and see how I. see how I did. Hold on. I threw it across the room, so it's going to take a while. I didn't really. I just dropped it. Oh, I did. Uh, I did unplug the controller though, because it went back to the keyboard prompt. It's funny. All right. Well, number twenty-three. That's uh, that's not going to last long. But uh, man, that's a bummer. Okay. Well, uh, this has been the Spelunky Daily Challenge. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you had a good time. Hope, uh, hope betting on my demise was enjoyable. Um, if you want to compete with me for, on the leaderboards, just add me on Steam if you don't ha already have me added. Uh, my name's Duke of the Bump. Uh, you can join the Duke of the Bump group at steamcommunity.com slash group slash Duke of the Bump or slash the Bump. Or just go to Duke of the Bump .com. There's a link there. And, uh, yeah, this has been fun. Hope to see all you guys next time. Good night, everyone. <laughs>